What motivated me to be part of this event, at least for our team, is that one, kind of believe in giving back, at least to the military, for how much they've done for us. So it's a little way for us to be able to do that. Two, in training and putting on training, our guys actually learn a lot by doing that. So instead of just being the guys in the stack being trained, we're the ones putting it on, there's a lot that takes place. And really, it's actually just a pretty neat experience, honestly. In particular today, what we're teaching is hostage rescue. So the big thing that we try to get across is the priority of life, that being the hostage, innocent bystanders, police officers, or soldiers in this case, and then the bad guys. Getting that built in their head so that when or if they ever encounter something like that will drive how they do the mission, right? So in the event they find the hostage before the hostage taker, they don't need to push themselves further because now that they got that person that's more important than them, they can stop where they're at and not put their own lives at risk just to catch a bad guy. Other than, yeah, our languages are different, we might eat, eat some different food. Here's the one cool thing about it, the, the brotherhood, whether it's with military or military and law enforcement, you can tell that that brotherhood's there and it's tight. And it is probably one of the coolest feelings, knowing that not only here, our relationship with U.S. soldiers is, I think, awesome, but the fact that soldiers from another country feel the same way, that it's just kind of one big family, I mean, that's just cool. It doesn't get any better than that.